all right so as we saw in the title of the video we will be learning how to construct 60 degree, 60 degree angles and 90 degree angles and then we will bisect our 90 degree angle feel free to slow down the video and um, watch it as many times as you need to So the first thing we're going to do is we'll draw a line because lines are cool, right? Um, so you're going to draw a line, a horizontal line. If you cannot remember what horizontal is, just remember the horizon. It's not really flat, but it goes across, right? Um, yeah. So we have our line and we're gonna do a second line that cuts it at a point. Um, this is just for us to establish a central point for our arc. So you're gonna draw an arc now, the radius is 1500 millimeters the arcs in AutoCAD they go in a counterclockwise direction but it can be changed in the setting right when we're doing the arc we select center start end for our arc and where the first arc cuts the line we use that point as the center for our second arc and as you may have seen the radius is once again 1500 so you use the same radius for both arcs and after you have done that we draw a line from the center of the first arc to where the two arcs intersect now you may notice that the line that I drew was not passing through where the two lines intersect right I did not do that on purpose it was a pure accident so I zoomed in and I redid the line and it is proper this time what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna check the angle get away battery low battery sign I'm gonna check the angle and as you can see it is 60 degrees and as if that were not enough I'm going to measure the angle on the other side also right it's 120 degrees All right so that's how you construct a 60 degree angle next we are moving on to the 90 degree angle or the right angle again I begin with a horizontal line and this time instead of choosing a point I'm just gonna go to the circle command I'm just gonna draw a circle at the center of this line you could you can draw the circle anywhere on the line it really doesn't matter and the radius doesn't matter either but I used 500 millimeters as the radius now I'm gonna draw two arcs the circle cuts the line in two places you can see me showing it there one on the right and one on the left and those two spots will be the centers for our two arcs so I go to the arc drop down menu and I click on center start end I use a radius of I have no idea what radius I used here 1200 I use a radius of 1200 I draw my first arc go to the arc command again center start end and once more I use a radius of 1200 to draw my second arc right and as you may have noticed both arcs were drawn in a counter counter counterclockwise direction counter right here yeah. Right. Once you have the two arcs intersecting, you draw a line from the center of the circle to the point of intersection and you have 
two 90 degree angles, but I'm going to measure one of the angles just to make sure. And there you can see it's 90 degrees. Very good. So the last thing we have is we're going to bisect one of the angles to make two 45 degree angles. Uh, in order to bisect an angle, you need an arc that cuts the two lines that make the angle and the center of the two lines or the, yeah, center of the two lines should also be the center of the arc, right? And you draw two arcs with larger radii than the initial arc or circle, as you can see here. Again, feel free to slow down the video and go over it a couple of times. Once you have these two intersecting arcs, you draw a line from the center of everything, which is the center of the circle in this case. And you pull it to where the two arcs intersect. Uh, this time I'm going to measure the angles, 45 degrees, very well. And for some reason I'm going to measure the second one as well. It's also 45 degrees. 